Just before suicide bomber Salman Abedi struck at the Manchester Arena on Monday night, Newsnight can reveal his last act. He phoned his mother. The authorities in Tripoli told us... His brother, before the attack, he called him and he called him, uh, can you give me my mom to call her? So his brother uh, felt that uh, something uh, is going on there in Manchester and he thought uh, his brother, he will do something uh, like bombing or attack. So after that, he told us, uh, I was uh, having internet and I see the attack in Manchester and I knew that my brother was. The Libyan authorities said he'd been in the country very recently. He came here into the Tripoli in the uh, 18th of uh, April this year, and he came back after, I think, uh, two weeks or three weeks. That means he returned from Libya earlier this month. The Libyans also told us that their security forces had been monitoring his younger brother. We were looking for him uh, maybe one month and a half, but he's a uh, member of uh, ISIS. We were, we were not uh, quite sure about uh, this, but uh, when we arrested him and we asked him, he told us that I have ideology with my brother. Hashim, he said, I knew everything about my brother, what he was doing there in Manchester. Salman Abedi was born and bred in Manchester. This is his home in the south of the city. The question haunting Manchester today was how could he do what he did? This man has some answers. He's British Libyan, has known the family for 25 years and lives directly above the bomber's brother. In recent, uh, recent conversation with people and recent, uh, and recent uh, meetings with other friends, they, they were saying the guy has, um, there was something that's disturbing him, if you know what I mean. Even though when I seen him in the, in the past three months, he didn't look like he was anything on his mind, but I've been told he's been a loner, he's been a uh, bit naughty on the street, a bit... I can't say violent, but a bit uh, aggressive on the street. Started fighting with people, um, finger signs, stuff like this. Akram is not the only person who saw a change in the 22-year-old. The neighbours of Salman Abedi say that in the last couple of months at least he started behaving oddly. He would pick fights with people about where he parked his car, where he put his bins. And that is not the signature of a bomb maker. The reluctant conclusion is that Salman Abedi may have delivered the bomb, but he didn't make it. Today, police launched a series of raids across Greater Manchester, arresting five. Tonight, a sixth suspect was arrested, a woman. They've announced that they're looking for a network of people who helped the bomber. In Libya, the authorities have arrested Salman Abedi's father and his younger brother. Here, police are questioning Salman Abedi's older brother, Ismail. This is his flat. Yep. So this is Salman Abedi's uh, brother's flat. Uh, the police raided. We've been told they actually raided two flats. They got the wrong one first. Maybe true, maybe not. And now you can hear them. They're cutting doors. They're repairing the damage. The last time Britain was hit by bombs like this was on 7-7. The evidence is growing that the police and security services may have missed warnings about Salman Abedi. A community worker has told the BBC that the authorities were warned about his extremism several years ago. They reportedly said he was supporting terrorism and he had expressed the view being a suicide bomber was OK. An incident at Salman Abedi's local mosque in Didsbury is revealing. Worshippers told Akram that after the imam had criticised Islamic State, Abedi reacted. He approached the imam and gave him a really, really, really killer look. Really bad look in his eyes, like, watch what's going to happen or, you know, it's a threatening look, let's put it this way. But did the local Muslim community do their utmost to warn the authorities about Abedi? Has shot us all. Today, the Didsbury Mosque held a press conference. But they told us very little about the man who had been part of their community or even that he'd worshipped yes. there. Did, did Salman Abedi pray here, sir? Sir, did Salman Abedi pray here? He did attend this mosque. So, so some questions for the security services and the police, but also some questions for the people who run this mosque. The first one of which is, did Salman Abedi pray here? And the answer to that is, 
we're not answering any questions. And some people might say that's not good enough. After the attack on Westminster Bridge this March, it became obvious that Khaled Massoud was a lone wolf. But the more one looks into the killer Salman Abedi, the stronger the suspicion grows that too many clues were overlooked, that not enough information was given, that the horrors of Monday night could have been averted.